Hi. Now what we have here is a typical example on differentiation and finding the equation of a tangent to a curve. So if you'd like to give this a go, just uh, give you a moment to pause the video and you can come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got here then is the curve C has equation y equals 2x minus 8 root x plus 5 where x is greater than or equal to 0. And in the first part we've got to find dy by dx giving each term in its simplest form. So let's start with that first of all. So for part A what I'm going to do is just rewrite this but we need to change the square root of x to a power and we should be familiar with the fact that the root of x is the same as x to the power half so we're going to take this as y equals 2x minus 8 and instead of root x is x to the power half and then plus 5 okay and then to find dy by dx to differentiate it with respect to x Differential of 2x is just simply 2 and then for minus 8x to the power half multiply the power with the minus 8 so minus 8 times a half is going to be minus 4 and reduce the power by 1 so that's x to the power minus a half and the differential of a constant well that's 0. So if you need any practice on differentiation just go on my website examsolutions.net and look under differentiation and you'll see how we do this kind of type. Now we've got to give each term in its simplest form. You could leave it like that but I don't think that is the simplest form. When we come on to this term here minus 4x to the power minus a half x to the power minus a half is 1 over x to the power half. So if you multiply it by 4, you're going to get 4 over x to the power half. And x to the power half is the square root of x. So in my opinion, this is what I think is the simplest form. Okay, so that's part A. Now, in the next part, part B, let's just draw a margin there. So in part B, what have we got to do? Well, it says that the point P on the curve C here has x coordinate equal to a quarter. And we've got to find the equation of the tangent to C at the point P. And give our answer in the form y equals ax plus b, where a and b are constants. Well, to appreciate a problem like this, what I would encourage you to do is just draw a quick sketch. It doesn't have to be accurate, it's just here just to kind of kickstart the problem, give us an idea of what's going on. So I've got my axes and I've got some curve. As I say, I have no idea what this curve looks like. I suppose I can see that it's going to cross the y-axis at 5 when x is 0. So, yeah, we've got a curve coming down maybe or going up through 5. I have no idea. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to draw some sketch like that. And we can always rub it out if it's wrong anyway later on. But I've got a point P on the curve C. Let's label it as C. And all I know is that this point P, the x-coordinate is a quarter. I don't know the y-coordinate, let's just put a question mark there. And I'm asked to find the equation of the tangent at the point P, so something like that. And being a straight line, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 where x1, y1 is a point on the line. Well, I've got x1, I need y1, so we can get that in a moment, and m is the gradient, and I can get that from using dy by dx, which gives us the gradient at any point on this curve. So that's where I'm going to go with this problem, okay? So let's just start by saying that 
for part uh, B, when x equals a quarter, we're going to get the corresponding y value here. So what we've got to do is substitute a quarter into here. So we've got 2 times a quarter and then we've got minus 8 times the square root of a quarter so the square root of a quarter and then plus 5. So what have we got for this? Well 2 times a quarter is a half and we've got square root of a quarter, that's the same as square root in the top and the bottom of the fraction, so that's 1 over 2, a half. Minus 8 times a half then is going to be minus 4. Then we've got plus 5. So what's that give us? Uh, minus 4, 5 is 1, 1 plus a half is 1 and a half. But I'm going to write that as a top heavy fraction, okay? It's always better to work in that style. What else do we need? We need to get the gradient of our tangent, okay? And by the way, so this y coordinate is 3 over 2, which looks good, okay? So we've got quarter across 3 upon 2 up. Anyway, we've got to get the gradient of the tangent, so we just need to substitute x equals a quarter into here. So what I'm going to say is and dy by dx, what's that going to be? So dy by dx is going to equal 2 minus 4 divided by the square root of a quarter. So the square root of a quarter is a half. 4 divided by a half is 8. 2 minus 8 is minus 6. So I've got a tangent sloping in this direction because it's a negative gradient. But it wouldn't have mattered if I had sketched something else where it was a positive gradient. I can always change it later on. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm in a position to get the equation of the tangent. So rather than just writing it down, I'm just going to write a brief intro. Therefore, equation of the tangent okay, uh, is, and what is it going to be? Well, using this format, it's going to be y minus y1, which is this y coordinate here, 3 over 2, equals m, the gradient, which we've seen is minus 6, and then it's multiplied by x minus x1, and x1 was the quarter. So I've got to get this now in the form y equals ax plus b. So what I'm going to do is add 3 upon 2 to both sides and I'm going to expand the bracket at the same time. So therefore we've got y equals, well we're going to get minus 6x and then minus 6 times minus a quarter is going to be plus 6 quarters and we're adding the 3 over 2 to both sides so that's going to be plus 3 over 2. Well 6 over 4 is 3 over 2 when you reduce it down. One and a half. So you've got one and a half plus another one and a half. So that's going to be three. So therefore, what we have is y equals minus six x plus three. Okay.